Hello, my beautiful people. Uh, make a welcome to our channel. A big like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember, I go straight to the news. Um, so now, um, we INEC don't make Tinibu their president select. And uh, while will be case, will be the go courts, you know, for the mandate, which I believe say will take a long time. This will be case for three and a half years or even four years. If you even enter five years, if because me, I know say Tinibu don't buy all the judges. You understand? I know say many Nigerian judges no get integrity. And many of these our old papa them said they they shameless and they talk and with full chest and no fear any of them. Um so why all this to why now Tinibu go day on board. That's just the simple truth. Uh make no lie to ourselves, you know. The Nigerian system they very corrupt and they, they favor the very corrupt, the very violent, the very questionable and uh, the very very shameless um so now we apc don't do abracadabra win election uh no follow stipulated rules you know begin do all very undemocratic things um so tinibu go day power so even though say tinibu no be my president i want me in nigeria they could you know so i want even while will be the good case i want making govern where making do the simple things and uh, this thing is no be rocket science. I don't still tell Ubi this thing. I don't give Ubi this advice for these manifestos um, during the campaign time. And a lot of people listen to them. They like the ideas, you know. So now I go maybe broaden or you know, you know, talk some things where I know add for that one. Because at the end of the day, anybody will be president. Um, you know, he's supposed to implement these things to make the country safer, better, and um, you know, more organized. Uh, so basically, this thing that we think Tinibu supposed to do is to like win the hearts of some people with the verse like me. And uh, nobody say if he win, I'm saying we'll go begin support him or no. Now, just to do the right thing, you know. If he say whether our support matter, well, if our support no matter, why you go the re re reverse election? Why you use the number of votes for Lagos, Plato, and the rest? Anyway, I don't want to talk about the election. Election don't pass. You understand? So, why will be the good cause? This thing has things we Tinibu need to do. The first thing we Tinibu need to do now, all those in useless social media influencers, people like Chi Gozirim, one uh, yellow boy, Ibu boy, we do this talk nonsense. They don't even talk nonsense about an Ibu race because of 30, 30,000 and how much APC they give them. And some very nasty comments with some of the social media influencers of APC they do. If I be Tinibu, I can advise them say, now nah, a nah, healing process because there's a lot of high tension. You go think say na joko. There's a lot of high tension, a lot of seed have been sold. Um, right now, it just feels like, say, Nigeria, Nigerian uh, evil government, too. Uh, Nigerian that won't progress, zero. Because, um, and why I say Nigeria, too, um, Nigerians that won't progress, zero now. Uh, in the fact of um, NSAS and uh, this election with the Dwabra Kadabra, see, Nigerian government, they win. You understand? Uh -huh. So they now then get handicapped. May they continue to they win. But, he get where they go push you to the walls. That score go enter three two. I don't know how he will enter. I don't know how we will plan them. I don't know whether they divine something. But if they don't do the right thing, with the level of anger we did, many people no go tell you. Many people diverse, including me. You understand? Uh -huh. So these are things we need need to do. First of all, tell all those useless social media influencers like Chigo Zirim. There are plenty. I don't know them. They they are Denyoju. All of them they work for Tinibu. Even so, or if you start the war for Tinibu, then plenty. You understand? Tell them, say, may they begin peace, preach the language of peace. May they stop all this, their insults and yabbing and all those things. All those things will just provoke people anger the more. You understand? You will just push people to the to the brink. You understand? Because a lot of people now are not get waiting to lose. People are hungry, frustrated, and jobless. And uh, secondly, Tinibu need to cut down cost on government, I beg. No be every time we the move, uh, only you 50 um, car, only you 300 cars, uh, 72 cars they follow you. Now no be you be the be um, uh, president where nobody won't kill you. You understand? Work with your free mind. We don't say you don't stay in your hand for different different things for Amala. We don't say you don't stay in your hand for Fusho William, but do the right things. Do the nobody won't kill you. Nobody get your time. You don't even hold self. So nobody get your time. Do the right things. Reduce cost cost of government. That money where they want is renovate as rock. I don't know whether they don't use renovator. But another 12 billion. Save that money. Now you need to begin do things like um, loans. You need to give loans. You understand? If you create 
give equal number of loans to the Nigerians in the six geopolitical zones, create maybe a warehouse, um, a warehouse air conditioned standard, world class warehouse, you know, design. I don't know for maybe conference center, not necessarily flamboyant, but maybe for the outskirts of uh, the state, a, a state capital, maybe for the six zones. Uh, you know when they talk six zones, they talk of six geopolitical zones. Um, so that people feel go obtain loans, loans. You understand? Camera go there, there. You understand? And when you want to collect the loan, that one will be opportunity for you to collect your national ID card, which we desperately need. Nigeria actually needs everybody and every city to have just one card for everything. Nobody this one you will get this, they get that, get that, get this. You know, just one card. And um, Tinibu need to begin plan to um, bring in a lot of agricultural machines. You understand for the equal zone six numbers six your political zones then later you go increase the ones when you go pull for no because not get large land but you need to bring at least minimum of one million tractors and i know the joke one million tractors supposed to be in target you will share them equally among the six zones for Botswana, all you need to do is to buy fuel and the government go 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 bring tractor come this and then you will share and maybe along the local government create the government actually need to build distribution centers in this all the local government for Nigeria, which I don't think is rocket science. So if you want to hire a tractor, all you just need to buy fuel. You need to do is buy fuel, and they will bring the tractor and clear your land. Then they need to create farm zones, farm zones, and uh, farm zone. Those farm zones will get storage facilities. Nigeria no get farm zones. Zones where they grow yam, yam grooms where they grow cassava. Uh, maybe they for not, but for the southern part, everything they have hazard. You need to organize them. If you talk to the community, say, okay, communities, um, lease this your land for us. When you lease them for us, we go build world class primary school and secondary school, world class um, primary healthcare center, and world class sports center. You understand what they talk? Sports center, no talk of viewing center, but where people go, they play ball, they go even get coaches and dream for Europe go day. You understand what they talk? And it would be organized, you know, like a broad setting. You know, we don't want that Nigerian architecture of things, you know. Call, in fact, you need to, if you do not give them all those your cranes, give them proper Julius Beggar Construction Company and make a person we get idea for the whole thing, manage and where we. Then, um, other things we need to do, you need to fix electricity. It's very, very paramount. Very paramount. But for the area of security, you don't need to empower, carry money, give Nigerian military. They go waste them more. Those ones criminals plenty for there what you need to do you need to empower things like a moteco for the six zones indigenous people for the six geopolitical zones you know not like a moteco i don't even like you know a moteco if you even upgrade them you understand if you say in a federal moteco you get the ones for south is south south if you cap their number four thousand bring um all this one for the six zones bring a forest guard you go bring a navy, former navy seal for Nigeria or these South African mercenaries. They go train our people, train them hard, save with the, the people where they want to save. Buy helicopters. You don't need fighter jets. You don't need fighter jets for anything. Buy helicopters if you carry 50 to 100 uh, soldiers at once. Put them for the center of the six zones. Each of the zones puts a, a, their base for the center of the six zones so that any with the one go mission they will just move from the center of that zone you don't need to put them for the say you won't put them for kaduna you won't put them, put them for the center of the six zones like for the south south you go look for the center for southwest you go look for center for northeast you go look for the center put the military not you go they deter for nigerian military those people go fight the terrorism better than nigerian military nigerian military na joke did a joke you understand and if you use if fact for not try make you a, 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 a um recruit basically people we uh these terrorists don't kill their family they could be more motivated you need people where they motivated pay them good wages minimum 100k minimum minimum if you even cap them in such a way we say they no go get too much structures they could just get a squad where they fight and maybe masters and phd people we Will be their ogre. Finish. Maybe six people. Finish. Your six commander and one person will be ceremonial. We go to control them. You know. Or if you pay 150, then build things like capsule hotels, capsule um, 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 wards or something. Go watch on Japan. 
capsule or tepes will be something like that. Put them air conditioned. Their camp will be well organized, will be well fed, well motivated. So that anytime they go, they go operations even before attack happen. Now something we say they go, they go operations. Sometimes they go even stay there one week. If they finish, maybe they feel use car come back. You understand? Or if you stop any car, that car go bring them come back. Or they go hire a car. Any car go bring them, or they go reach the nearest road, stop an empty car, the car go bring them, or they go, you know, whatever arrangement. Or if you do arrangement with a car construction company. Um, so they go they all operate with GPS. Now you go plant spice in all the hot spots. You understand all these uh, spies, they go get GPS. So any problem where they happen, they go, you know, locate you then. You go get central number. Far by the way, they even fail to explain this. Nigeria you don't reach out, I will get central number where we they call. Nobody say if you get any crime thing, nobody say you go call one police, like uh, say that your friend you go come, you go get central number where people go they report. That number now, if it be 111, all the Nigeria go they call them and they go there for the six zones. You know, it go be like call center 24 hours. You understand? So if you get any issue, even they feel even later get the one for corruption, but for security, that one go be very efficient. Once you call and they go record them, then the the person go fit up maybe the level of uh, degree of threat, you understand? Then the military go out, especially before you need to gain the trust of the people, you understand? And they go advertise this number as well. So you need these helicopters where they talk like we you carry 50 or 100 soldiers. And you know, from the center of the place, it go there easy. I know use Nigerian military, they will mess you up and they tell you they will chop your money. All those useless generals, or our papa then said, many of them no get sense, they could just chop the money. They no go do anything, and you know you go use military to bring. If you even bring in South, South African mercenaries, they go they fight side by side with those our units. You know where they train, and um, and those you know the units go they confined to their region. So now their region they go they based on. Nobody say they go um, Yamotekona go come they go not. No, every region go face in own region. The Nigerian military self go they support. They go support them sieve out the bad elements with them among them then uh, you know those are these but for the tractors too you know like i don't mention the farm zones and everything then you need to be pro- what class primary health care centers since the use let's say governors know it i want to take for class at the top of even architecture if you use one design if you use one design but me they world class you know with lawn proper proper management even solar Solar panels, maybe how much? Ten million naira solar panel will power a place very well. Um, plus, even uh, maybe time where they will get generator. Proper, simple design, but proper. Everything when you say it, they sharp for eye. You understand? Then you need to build new cities for the city geopolitical zones. I don't always mention this thing. Nigeria desperately need brand new cities to decongest the old existing um, dirty cities who will get all over the country. Even the Lagos where they shout now, dirty city. Where they say you build, plus uh, you know just the con- the congest the scap- the centers, you know where they from Kano to wherever, you know and they talk of industrial cities, but clean and green, you know a lot of trees and uh, clean, you know if you build and like Cape Town standard, bring people where build Cape Town, maybe build the same design, just a functional city for now, you know, but proper proper design, you know even they are roofing, they go use roof tile, nobody say they go they use this uh, zinc and uh, everything. You know, um, yeah, so proper design, proper structure, something like we will never see for Nigeria. Then you also need to build technical schools, you don't need to build any more university. We don't really get a lot of useless universities, so you just need to build technical schools. We will get technical equipment, we will get light industries. We even the students will feel work for that technical school. They talk of light industries like sewing, you know, those people feel they feel be zero tax. But they will be this the students will work part-time and they will get very minimal wages now part of their study for there when they go class finish they will go the thing go learn sewing woodwork metal work but how can a country like nigeria we know we'll get furniture company with the branded you know how much we ike this swedish company they make from furniture we suppose they import furniture we'll get hardwood for bini and this thing but we know they make use of them you understand? Nigeria is a very funny country. You get granite. You know they produce peanut butter. You know they produce granite oil. So what do they do with uh, with your vast land? Come on. When will be they tell you say the vast land for Nigeria and uh, economic prospect? Many of them don't understand. You understand? Um, then waiting again if you do safe. Then loans. You need to this. Lo- you need to give a lot of young people loans, especially 
minimum of one million. Minimum of one million. Like I also can when you go there, they will fingerprint you. They will come give you a national ID card. That national ID card will carry cheap. When you just tap up for tablets, they will see every details about you. Um, so people need to begin get hope for loans. You understand? People need to begin get hope for loans. People need to get access for loans. You know, the country now just I don't know. And these loans don't be in the form of cash. If you partner with the loan, the um, like this warehouse, why don't say we will feed the six regions? We if you apply online, you understand. And if you're this thing good, they go accept them. You know, they go they buy equipment. This they go bring the thing directly to you. So if you take the loan, it go fit be a form of equipment, whatever you need, even a laptop, if a mixer, if a whatever for cake. So uh, you don't need to go school. You understand? If you get sent away before you apply for them, it depends on how good with you they do. So this loan, you go pam small, small, no be loan where they go rush you. You understand? Then if you get stipend from part of the loan, but basically the loan are just to buy equipment. So whether on Amazon or if you partner with, you know, Amazon and uh, this thing, and you go get friendly people, we go they well organized, you know. And that place for you even be business venture or business uh, hub. You understand? So if you partner with Amazon, so people need loan, they go get them. You understand? Then even for this your cities where you won't build, nobody say you can't build like that your banana island when at the hi- overhype, you know. And uh, uh this thing. I don't tell you Cape Town standard. I don't say you know Cape Town, go check them. Go and check it. Bring those engineers with big Cape Town. No use Nigerian people though. they go mess them up. Many of them don't know what's in they build. Or bring in Nigerians with the America where they build Google things, mix them with your Ubu too. The Uyubu go the primary where they keep town. We build Cape Town. Our people go the secondary, you know. Our people say still they good, but they be like say many of them lead guys. You know they are finishing and everything. They do very poor. You know they are even their ideas to plant green trees and all those things. They lacking. So this thing are just basically some of the things where you feel you do you go do where you go win the house of the people. Like I don't talk. You, at the end of the day, if you even put uh, primary health care centers, uh, world class uh, um, primary and secondary schools. And uh, if you even do public private private partnership for this thing, and work class sports centers, we be say at every quarter people go to play soccer, and if you even get tournaments, you know local government by local government, you know you don't need to get buses or anything. But waiting go happen, we say anytime we they want play tournaments, you go do partnership with a bus company. They will come pick them, go from one place to another, you know just to do this thing, two things where you understand. And um, yeah, hey, and I, I even forget if. You need to construct a way from uh, uh, Lagos to the hinterland of the southwest and uh, north. Cargo, cargo. Then you need to also con- construct a way from uh, uh, southeast, from uh, from Wari to southeast. Cargo, and uh, you also need to construct maybe from Potako to southeast. You know, for easy movement of people, everybody no need to leave for Lagos. You go open up new areas for the country. The country day two choked up. You understand what I did? Made the country we go pull up. You go bring wealth, enter hinterland, bring wealth, enter everywhere. Cargo. No build any useless passenger away. We no, we no need passenger away again. You understand? We don't need them again. So this thing are basically some of the things we you need to do. Electricity is very paramount. If you do not do it, you don't fail. If you don't improve the security, you don't fail. All this cow thing, carry them, go not. Land day there. Maybe we build ranches for there. You understand they would pay kind of t- rent to the community we get the land and the you know land they there where we carry the cut them by the side put butchery there where they would butcher the cows then those the way go the transport and come the different region they will get cooling vans country will open up their loan system loan system for houses loan system for for um loan system for houses loan system for waiting now for you know i know believe in low system for car but loan system for houses and uh, maybe for food you understand then maybe help people with disability give people small hope you know small small grants i don't see why they talk i don't think say i don't know you know if you finish everything but if you do many of the major steps you know and it is possible say if you finish all these things if you borrow money better money and hit the right spot it is possible and give that to the right people but if you say you won't give out this your ganju dollar with the open brown seat uh, my brother the money we uh, Buari give Ganji dollar to build ranch, six billion naira. We don't hear that one again. So 
these are the things some one or two of the things we need to do some people could say ah you get the experience you get the experience now lagos be second world city and not to say you get any experience you only get experience for public private partnership where you will benefit a lot from them not be for middle income because if you get experience if you don't come out of those abor from uh, streets that's just the truth if you don't come out there for streets now if you don't come out there for if you don't change your life but you don't get any experience your experience is a greedy experience anyway i pray may you change you because we hear say you see they say amala through e-money now so we hear and in every rumor there's element of truth anyway guys um we pray may you change if you work well it's good for the betterment of nigeria you understand uh-huh. so you know me say because say you know be my president say make you know work well you the work for the betterment of the country not for me but i know i know feel they say are they proud because your way no pure except you repent come open up say you don't repent too you understand uh-huh. but your way eh? or more my brother my my papa you understand you too you need to just change and i think i know things say you go feel change at this age you don't too old lopard no feel changes for but maybe if you be the first lopard yeah more they watch you they see our eyes don't you you understand anyway guys i want to see all this thing why yeah on that thing side makes sense let me know your thoughts for the comment section.